everyone, it's Sharon from Bless the Craft Designs. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I'm transforming this tree into something glamorous using all the ornaments that I made as promised. So stick with me. I'm going to do a voiceover. Come right back and I'm going to show you what I'm working with for this tree. So in this next clip, I'm just showing you some of the supplies I've used. I purchased my items from Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, and at home, I think I may have even gotten some from Big Lots, but you can see I just have kind of a, a variety of bulbs and like little specialty or novelty type ornaments. And I don't show here, but I do have the ones that I made for you in our Vlogmas. So it's time to get started decorating. This is my son's place and he was nice enough to let mommy decorate his tree using the um, ornaments and everything that I made. He didn't have a tree so you know he didn't mind me putting this up so I'm thankful to my son and you'll be able to see here in a minute my other four-legged I guess son, grandson, I don't know what you want to call it, who was just trying to help mommy put stuff, not put stuff on the tree, but actually take stuff off. So right here, I am using some of the tool. I believe that's what this is, a little gold sparkle tool. And I'm just kind of pushing this into the tree, making my little loops uh, very pretty. I'm not using any ruler or anything. I'm just kind of eyeballing it to see where I want to do that so I'm putting I'm going to put some on each side and then I'm going to run down the middle with it okay we got our tool on or you can use deco mesh either one of them will work for this particular for doing that first step now I'm taking my ribbon and I don't use anything less than three different types of ribbon three different um, patterns you can have solids have whatever you want to do but I will at least use three and you it's the same technique you start at the top and then you're just gonna kind of weave it or tuck it on the inside of your tree you know just having some really nice um, kind of floating down just like we did the the tool or the, the deco mesh so you'll see me here just kind of tucking that in and I do try to make sure I attach it inside of the tree, not necessarily on, on the, the ends, but I try to go in a little bit. Okay, this next section is really pretty gold sequin ribbon that I purchased. I don't know if it was from Hobby Lobby or Michaels. It is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. It's just super thick, um, which is really nice. So I don't think I can make a bow out of it. I didn't even, I wasn't even able to do the loops like I did the other ribbon. So I just cut these in about eight inch pieces and just kind of snipped them at an angle on the end and just kind of fed them throughout.
Okay, next up are these really pretty ornaments that I got from at home. So I'm gonna start putting all my ornaments on. So um, just kind of stay tuned. I don't have a plan. I'm just kind of putting things on there just, you know, where I think they'll look good at and then I will kind of step back a little bit um, and see if anything needs to be moved around. Next up are these extra, extra large bulbs that I purchased from, I believe it was Walmart. I do know um, like Hobby Lobby has some and Michaels. There are a lot of places that you can get these really large bulbs. And I like these because to me, they are space fillers when you have, this is, as you can tell by now, this is an artificial tree. So you know you just have those areas that no matter what you do to the limbs, they just still have these gaps in it. And so I like these extra large bulbs just to fill in those areas. So that's all I'm doing here. Next up is, I didn't even mention this in my intro uh, when I was giving you a list of my supplies, but these actually came from Carolina Pottery. So I'm just showing you, I'm putting these on. Um, they came in uh, sets of three and I believe I had like four or five different necessities So I'm just adding these to the tree My next layer is finials and I'm just going to show you what the finished product looked like rather than showing you me putting them all on the tree There we are Now we're going on to the next layer I am now getting ready to put my ornaments on the tree. They are making their big debut. I have already put some of the little novelty ornaments on here. So I'm just finishing up with the ornaments that I made. There's that pretty one with the, the uh, cord and just a plain ribbon. And you'll see all of my other ones. And I'll just go ahead and say this that big white extra large bulb that you see there in the middle i am going to move that the more i look at it now on video i'm trying i'm thinking to myself why did i put that right there it's just sticking out like a sore thumb so by the time i finish this tree that big white bulb is going to move it was just it was kind of out of place there i did put it over to the side and put one of the gold ones out front. So by the time I finish this tree, you'll see that I have moved that bulb. The next layer is adding these little clip-ins. You can get them from Hobby Lobby and also from Walmart and they are the perfect little touch that you need to fill in some of those spaces. For the sake of time, I'm just gonna kinda speed through this. I am finishing up the Christmas tree by adding all of my little picks up top, just trying to decide how I want each one of them to come out, but I want the top of the tree to be very full so I used most of my picks at the top of the tree and then if I had any, I had a few left over that I decided to stick throughout the tree but I, right now I'm just kind of concentrating on the top. So that's what you're gonna kind of see me do here. And then I'm gonna put the hat that I made um, up top. I had to try to figure out how to get this to work up there. So it was a little task to do that but I'm happy with the end result so keep watching.
Here is the grand finale. Uh, I was about 95% done at this particular time. It was right after I put most of the ornaments on. I had didn't at this particular time have the skirt and everything around there to jazz it up. I was just tired <laughs> because this was about two, two and a half hour endeavor to put this tree together. So a lot of work. Um, but I am so happy with how it turned out. I love the colors. You know, some of my ornaments that I made directly there in the front, like the browns and the creams. I love those kind of copper or bronze, I guess, uh, pinsettas that are on there. You know, it just, to me, gives it that little extra splash of color. And I love that. Now, you don't have to do that. You can stick strictly with the browns, the cream, and the gold. But I love the way this looks. I love the way it turned out. Um, I am super happy with it. I hope you are too. Please let me know what you all think down in the comments below. I have some other videos coming out. Uh, another tree that I've done. Well, I did the pink and the gold one like last year. So I'll make sure I link that down below. I'll also link down below all of the ornaments from blog blogmas even that two dollar lampshade tree topper that you see everything will be linked down below so please make sure you check all those videos out if you have not already subscribed to my play my page please do that those of you that have already subscribed i thank you for your continued support Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and share it to your social media. It's one of the best ways to share uh, artists, people, or crafters that you follow on YouTube with DIYs and other tutorials. It's a good way to kind of keep us going, you know, that, you know, we're bringing content that you're actually interested in. And I hope that you all try this at home. Again, give yourself a couple of hours because the tree did take me a while to put this together. But when you step back and see it after your hard work, trust me, you're going to feel all warm and fuzzy inside. It's just a really good feeling. I thank you again for joining me. Please make sure have a safe holiday season. Uh, Thanksgiving, whether you're traveling, um, just please be safe. Please be safe. Adhere to guidelines wearing your mask. Make sure y'all washing your hands and everything real good because I want to, uh, I don't want to read about you in the newspaper, okay? I want everybody to stay safe. And I do pray for that for every single person, this whole nation right now, okay? So thank you all for joining me today. As always, be blessed.